Okay, so at the end of the last video, I completely lost my train of thought, lost my mind as per usual, and started doing a terrible job of explaining how I needed you not to reorder and blah, blah, blah. Here's what I was actually trying to say. So you've got a paper edit written down on a piece of paper telling you what times you want to cut. Now, theoretically, let's say you wanted to keep between 5.15 and 5.52, okay? Uh, so my razor tool, I make this cut here. And this here is the bit that you want to keep. And you think, well, I'll just delete all of that and start moving all this stuff that way. Don't do that because then your paper edit is going to be completely out of sync. So you can hit delete on stuff that you don't need by all means, but don't actually move anything yet or that paper edit that you spent so long writing down is going to be completely uh, useless to you. So make sure you start by just working through and finding the points where you need to make cuts. So maybe you want to keep uh, from 612, so I get my razor tool, make the cut, to 637, get my razor tool, I make the cut. Um, and you, so you don't need this bit between the two. Sure, by all means, select it using the selection tool, the arrow here, and hit delete. But whatever you do, don't start moving stuff left or right yet, because that will completely cock up the order of your paper edit. So I'm just going to like really quickly make some kind of random cuts um, because I want to show you the kind of thing that you should have at the end. Uh, so yeah, let's say that you go through and you end up uh, deleting a bunch of stuff and you end up with something that looks like this. Uh, only once you've gone through your full paper edit list are you in a position to start actually reordering these clips. Reordering is really, really easy. Um, you can click on that clip and you can drag it about. You could even change the chronology of your interview, potentially. Um, and it might be that the answer to question number two is better at the beginning or the answer to question number one works well later on. So you can reorder stuff however you like, simply by clicking and dragging. And if you want to move more than one thing at a time, drawing a box like this will allow you to do that. So now I've ended up with an interview that's seven minutes long, which is sort of about the right target length for what we're looking at. But I didn't move anything until I'd worked my way through and made all the cuts I needed where I needed them, deleted them, but didn't reorder anything because I can't reorder until I've worked my way through to the end of my paper edit.